Welcome to the exciting rebirth of Superstar featuring choose your membership rate as low as just $3 a month. At Superstar, you get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes, class passes for Synchronicity University, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the Superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. Hello, fabulous superstar Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of January, 2023. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month, without a doubt, big moves happening in the sky now. It is going to be on the sixth of the month that we will have this month's full moon. And this full moon takes place in a part of the sky for you that may feel very consequential. It has to do with profound change and truth. It has to do with how it is that you might regenerate yourself, how it is that you get honest with yourself and secrets that you might consciously keep. It has to do with your understanding of power itself and how it is that you obtain it or use it. And it is also this part of the sky that speaks to your relationship with financial institutions and your understanding of wealth and how you align with that. The thing is, I really like this full moon. I think there are some beautiful things playing out here. On the one hand, we do have that full moon speaking in harmony with Uranus. Uh, Uranus right now in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life, but this type of energy ultimately can suggest that uh, things can change now very quickly. Uh, the inspiration comes or rather the prompt comes from some external opportunity or event. You acting as a result creates a positive momentum that very quickly lends itself to gains and a feeling that you've been fortunate. So this is some lovely energy to tap into because of where Uranus is. I will say that this might be rooted in your work in some way. So if you've been hoping to connect your work and get funding so that you can do more of what it is that you want to do, well, that can be part of the energy now, but really wherever it is that you are looking at moving towards change, especially the kind that invites you to look at the small moments as you move through your life, the incremental changes, your habits. And I mean that in all kinds of ways, whether that's physical or psychological, it is now that you may find uh, reaping some rewards as a result of your transformations. It is also Neptune that is going to speak in supreme harmony with this full moon as well. Neptune at the foundation of your chart. If it is that you have a home-based business or you work with homes, this can be a time of prosperity in a way that I think you'll really enjoy this has to do with like large payments, like commission checks, for example, or a project coming through. But it looks like it's something you're likely working on in your own time and space. And that is part of creating wealth for yourself now. This can also be a sense of what's taking place with family is changing. Maybe you're taking on a greater power role within a family dynamic. Um, also possible here, maybe taking on more financial responsibility. Uh, where it comes to your family of origin, your parents in particular, or perhaps they are a source of prosperity in your life now or wealth in your life now as well. It could be that you are ready to change your living situation and you're feeling very inspired, feeling as if the money you need to make that change is there. Now we have very big news on the 12th of the month because that is when Mars and your opposite sign officially goes direct. This is very exciting, I'll tell you. It is Mars now going direct that is going to have you seeing your one-on-one -on -one alliances differently. Now this includes professional alliances. Uh, it includes business partnerships as well. If you have found them frustrating, especially going all the way back to August when Mars first entered this part of the sky, well, it is now as Mars finally moves forward that you start to understand dynamics differently. Also, 
If you think back to what was taking place in the first part of September, chances are that as Mars is changing directions, you will see the events at that time related to a one-on-one -on -one alliance differently in some way. It's like you get another perspective. Uh, you interpret it differently. You get a point of clarity. Or it could just feel like what was frustrating you, what made you feel uncertain, it leaves you. You understand what you need to, and now you can move forward. Now, I'll return to this when we talk about love, because love has a lot of amazing things happening, and that includes a new moon on the 21st and all that's happening around it, particularly on the 22nd. But like I said, I'll talk about love in just a moment. Let me talk about that new moon. It is quite profound in a heart-oriented part of the sky for you. It's about getting very honest with yourself about what it is that's going to make you happy, what it is that your heart truly wants. What does heart level fulfillment, creative fulfillment look like for you? This part of the sky has to do with leisurely activities, which is part of why it connects to joy and happiness. But it also has to do with the children in your life as well. It's very interesting that the ancients conceptualized it this way, right? That children and leisurely activities, they belong to the same part of the sky. For some people, they do. And if you are one of those people, this is where there is a, a wake up of energy taking place. Now, I will come back to this Mars Direct when we get to the love portion of this video. But for now, I'm going to move on, focus on uh, what is taking place around the 21st and 22nd because it is rather remarkable. We have energy speaking to a part of the sky for you that has to do with siblings, cousins, and neighbors. But it also has to do with synchronicity, being in the right place at the right time, connecting with the right person, and it can just make all the difference for you now in moments that can feel very quick moving as well. And so this new moon is rather interesting. It is not just a new moon so that it represents new opportunities, new perspectives, new beginnings. But it's happening at the very beginning of its respective sign. That amplifies the significance of and the symbolism of brand new beginnings that could be playing out for you now. So certain types of new beginnings could be a new neighbor. It could be new developments where it comes to your neighborhood. It could be new ideas, new learning opportunities, uh, new inspirations. Um, it can be new, very synchronistic connections that you make as you're running about and doing your errands. This part of the sky connected to cousins and siblings. Well, there could be some new news with one of these people uh, that seems to be meaningful to you. And I think that is very likely here. Uh, the reason I say that is because we do have this new moon speaking in harmony with Jupiter. And Jupiter right now is in a joy and heart-oriented part of the sky for you. And this is energy that feels like a blessing, whether it is you hear something that brings you a great deal of happiness, whether it has to do with you or one of these key people that I just mentioned. It does look like at this time there are brand new chapters and they feel rather motivating, rather exciting as well, but genuinely heartwarming at the same time. But it isn't just about the new moon. We've got other things happening as well that are going to speak to the same area on the 22nd. We are going to have Venus connecting in the sky with Saturn in the same part of the sky. I find this rather remarkable energy, I'll tell you. And what makes it so remarkable? Well, it has to do with an understanding um, of being very honest, even if it's hard and even if it's only with you. That's the thing. On the one hand, this energy can represent bringing structure to love. And in this case, uh, the words you use, the thoughts that you're thinking, how it is that you are able to be available spontaneously. And again, siblings, cousins, and neighbors. When is it that love, when structured and focused, becomes more powerful? Where is it that when love is mature and responsible that it ends up being more meaningful. These may be parts of the questions that you're exploring at this time. The thing is that this is a reality check moment, right? So for some, this is going to represent a time when based on what it is you come to see and accept, you may realize that it's about pulling back. 
It's about maybe not being as engaged, but for others, it's going to be about becoming more engaged. You're looking at the sacrifices that have been made and what it is that might be required going forward from here and whether or not you're into it. This is a turning point moment, make no mistake. As much as the energy of the new moon is so hopeful, it is this energy that grounds that hope into reality and honest assessment. It is also on the 22nd that we are going to have Uranus going direct in a part of the sky for you having to do with your daily life. Okay, so here's the thing. Saturn is the ancient ruling planet of the sign of the new moon. And it is Uranus that is the modern ruling planet. The fact that both of these, Saturn and Uranus, are so lit up right around the same time under the light of the new moon, I think it speaks to how important this time and this area of life really can be. Uranus is currently moving through a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life, whether that's your work life or how well you're taking care of you in terms of your habits and rituals, where it is that you wanted to sort of break out of a rut where it came to your work, perhaps the tasks that you were doing. It is Uranus going forward that's going to help you to do just that. And where it is now that perhaps you want to uh, feel a greater sense of well-being, perhaps with your health, this is where a change can happen very quickly. Uh, this is like cold turkey energy that visits you and changes everything very quickly and for the better. The other thing to take into consideration is that whatever does transpire now and feel like it gets a burst of clarity so that it can move forward is in some way going to be connected to that new moon, to Saturn as well. And so a lot of the developments are going to be rooted on information, conversation, and just synchronistic moments. Once Uranus goes direct, all major planets are going to be direct for the next three months. So this is rather remarkable energy, I'll tell you. It is now, as Uranus goes forward, that it can start to feel... Uh, that much more like so many different areas of life are gaining momentum and a sense of happiness and possibility, a sense of not needing to be so reflective, but rather being able to truly move forward from inspiration to action with that much more ease now and in the period ahead. Now, where it comes to matters of love, I'm going right back to that Mars. That is a massive moment in the context of love for the Sagittarians out there. And remember, this is about partnership, understanding what you need, what you want from another person, whether you have it or how to go about getting it. It is this energy, as I said, this forward move is going to happen right where Mars was in the early part of September. And whatever may be happening now is going to in some way hearken to what was taking place for you back then. Because the events of back then now are meant to be revisited in some way. You're getting another look, a clearer look, and a part of that is going to be rooted in what you really want and how you're really feeling, instinctually so, about what is the right thing to do about a particular person in particular going forward from here. So for those of you open to meeting someone new, it's possible now that you reconnect with or, or feel an awakening with someone that maybe was floating around in the first part of September in some way. And so, yes, now there may be a sense of advancement on that front. It could be that you might have been interested in somebody back then and now you're seeing them and you realize you just don't feel the same anymore. That's very possible here as well. But it could be somebody brand new and whatever you are feeling, how you're acting, what you're doing, in some way it connects you to an understanding that you were having more personally way back in September. For those of you just starting to date somebody, look, if this person's been around since September, well, whatever the two of you were feeling and discussing may be revisited in some way or another at this time. However, if this person wasn't around, just know that whatever you might have been feeling or considering, some of those very feelings around partnership may stir for you now as part of understanding the best way forward for you. For some Sages, this is going to be a moment where it feels like you're able to truly move forward with this person, moving that much more clearly towards partnership. 
But there are going to be a certain percentage of Sagittarius out there where maybe you don't necessarily feel that way. And moving forward means going in a different direction. And for those of you in an established bond, look, whatever it is that you may be feeling, experiencing right about now might in some way be connected to experiences that the two of you were having way back going to the early part of September. In some way, you may revisit it. Now, whether it is to get another point of clarity, whether it is to bring resolution, or whether it is to feel like things are finally moving forward, this doesn't necessarily mean conflict, right? If that has been a trend, well, now at least you'll understand the root of it and what's really been going on, especially for you at this time. However, if it hasn't been a matter having to do with conflict, but perhaps just either your partner or the two of you needing to pour a lot of energy um, in the general direction of what's happening with your partner, well, it can be now that at least you start to understand the larger trend differently in some way. And you start to feel that you've reached a turning point where perhaps some of the more tiring things that needed to be paid attention to start to feel more and more behind you. For the very small percentage of Sages out there, if you have felt for a while that you might not be in the right relationship for you, I think in some ways you'll get your answer for now as to what it is that you want to do about it. As Mars goes direct, the truth is very much on the surface for you. You get to decide if it works for you and how it is that you want to navigate forward, either bringing new understanding and peace or considering how to move in a different direction. What I love about this month for you, there's so much here. It's a powerful and meaningful astrological moment. I love how the energy now is one of motivation and inspiration, but really I'm going to say the fact that all major planets are going to be direct once Uranus turns direct on the 22nd and will stay direct for the next three months. We have got so much energy that's about moving forward, creating momentum and creating a real sense of being able to focus on the future manifesting before you now. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this each and every week for each and every sign for as low as just $3 a month with choose your membership rate. Now, higher tiers get you things like all access passes to Synchronicity University events, consultations with me, and so much more. All of this in the superstar space at NadiaShawSuperstars.com. Link is in the description below. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.